Hi, I'm Alexi, welcome to Alexis Guitars, a channel all about guitar gear reviews, demos and comparisons. I'm back with my third Iron Gear pickup comparison video and this is one I've been particularly looking forward to. This is a comparison between the Iron Gear Hot Slag Bridge Pickup and the Iron Gear Dirty Talk installed in this guitar. Both high output humbuckers designed for rocking out. How do they compare? Let's find out. Like I said, I'm particularly excited about this comparison video. The Hot Slag by Iron Gear is a firm favorite of mine. It's actually been this guitar's uh, bridge pickup for the last five years or so. Now a few of you, either via YouTube or through the Iron Gear Facebook page, have recommended I check out the Dirty Talk. Now I did actually have a Dirty Talk installed in a DIY double neck SG kit, which I assembled years ago. I have no recollection of how that guitar sounded because the guitar itself needs to be completely redone in order to be playable, and because of that, I haven't actually touched that guitar for years. So I'll be applying my standard comparison format for this video and putting this pickup head to head against one of my favorite pickups for Hot Slag using one of my favorite guitars. If you haven't already seen my previous Iron Gear comparison videos, I'll leave a link for them in the description below. I'll also leave a link to the Iron Gear website so you can check out more information about these pickups and the other pickups that they offer. Here's what the Iron Gear website has to say about the Hot Slag and the Dirty Talk pickups. The Hot Slag is a high output pickup coming in at 17k ohms in a bridge position. It has an Alnico 5 magnet. It's noted for its bright, punchy tones while maintaining excellent clarity, great for overdrive and clean tones. The Dirty Talk only comes in a bridge position and measures 16.4k ohms. It also has an Alnico 5 magnet. Apparently though, it's a little bit warmer and a bit more subtle than the Hot Slag, but still delivers outstanding overdrive tones and crystal clear cleans. So fairly similar spec from both pickups here, both designed for great cleans and overdriven tones. Let's see how they compare. There's gonna be four parts to this test. First, I'm gonna do a clean tone. Second, I'm gonna do the edge of breakup tone where it's clean if you play soft, but when you dig in, you get a bit of dirt. Third, I'm gonna do a crunch tone and fourth will be high gain. As usual, I'm gonna be using the same guitar, going into the same amp with the same amp settings for both pickups. The same goes for pedal settings when I'll be using pedals. I'm gonna show you all of the settings before each sound test. Now, because the pickups are fairly similar outputs, I'm gonna try and keep the pickup heights fairly similar. And I'll be using a fresh set of Harley Benton strings for both pickups. You're gonna be hearing this rig through the two notes cab M simulating an orange two by 12 cab with no post EQ. One important thing to note before we start. In my previous two comparison videos, I was going out of a line out of the orange amp into the cab M. There's nothing wrong with that, it sounded awesome, but I had to raise the volume quite high to get a decent level of output. This time I've got the audio coming from the speaker out of the amp into the cab M, which means the signal's much louder, so I'm not going to have the exact same amp settings for my clean or breakup tone or crunch tones for this video as I did in my previous videos because the volume is going to be set a lot lower and I might have to compensate with the gain a little bit. All right, enough talk, let's get to the sound test.
So that was a clean test. Now to my ears, there wasn't a huge amount of difference between the two pickups. I think they both sounded really good, though you could tell that they are high output or hot pickups because even playing clean, they were clipping a little bit, which might also suggest that I had the pickups a bit too close to the strings. Maybe I could have lowered them a little bit for a bit more clarity. But when I was playing soft, so when it wasn't clipping, uh, I think both pickups did have a lot of clarity in the cleans and both sounded really good. Now to my ears, the Dirty Talk was a little bit softer and the Hot Slag a bit treblier, which matches up with what the website says about the two pickups. And I'm gonna give the upper hand to the Dirty Talk for the cleans, even though I think both sounded really good. Okay, on to the next sound test. So that was the edge of breakup tones and again not a huge amount of difference but I could definitely hear a difference. I did hear a little bit more brightness in the hot slag pickup which normally I would prefer but in these settings it came across as a bit more brittle. So far I'm really enjoying the dirty talk and I completely agree with what the website says that it's a warmer more subtle version of the bright punchy hot slag pickup. I'd say the dirty talk again had the slight advantage in this sound test though I think both sounded great. Awesome tones, let's get to the next sound test.
So that was the crunch setting and so far the most interesting of the sound test for me because here I don't have a favorite. They both handle this level of gain really well and clean up really nicely when you use the volume knob of your guitar. But I could hear a difference, not day and night, but I could hear that there was a more containedness to the sound of the hot slag, whereas the dirty talk was a bit looser, but in this cool classic rock kind of way. Both awesome in their own way, let's hear how they handle high gain in the next sound test. Okay, well in the high gain test, I think both pick up shine. This is the third Iron Gear comparison video I've done, but so far it's the first one where both pickups sounded great at this level of gain. The way I'd sum up the difference which I hear is that the Dirty Talk is more of a classic rock high gain sound or a classic hard rock sound, whereas the Hot Slag is more of a modern high gain or modern hard rock sound. What I mean by that is that the Hot Slag was tighter, especially with the Palm Muti metal -y stuff I was playing, whereas that same stuff played through the Dirty Talk had more of that classic rock high gain vibe, which to be honest, I think I prefer. Well, there you have it. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below which one you thought sounded better and for what style. So what do I think? Both pickups are great options if you're looking for high output humbuckers. The Hot Slag was my favorite pickup in this guitar here until now. Honestly, I think I prefer the Dirty Talk. Both pickups sounded good in the first two sound tests, the clean and the edge of breakup tone, but they sounded great in the crunch and high gain setting. In my opinion, that's where these pickups really shine. The Dirty Talk gives that more classic rock, bluesier hard rock sound, whereas the Hot Slag gives tighter, more modern sounding hard rock tones. 
I must say I really love both pickups, but after the sound test, the Dirty Talk is reigning supreme. Maybe it's because it's new and it's fun to mix things up a little bit every now and then, but I'm going to be installing the Dirty Talk in this guitar as the main pickup from now on, replacing the hot slag that's been there for about 5 years. I have more Iron Gear comparison videos coming up, so if you enjoy this and want to see more, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when I post a video in the future. If you have any wishes or suggestions for future Iron Gear comparison videos, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Oh, and if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Alright, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you found this video helpful. That's all for me today, till next time.